For generations, communities in the arid and semi-arid lands of the Greater Horn of Africa have relied on pastoralism and agro-pastoralism as a way of life. However, a combination of recurrent drought, social, cultural and environmental shocks continue to threaten this livelihood. In response, the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation have partnered with the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the European Commission, and the Humanitarian Aid and Civil Protection Department of the European Commission, national governments, and a number of non-governmental organizations in the expansion of the Agro-Pastoral Field School approach, APFS. The APFS approach, an adaptation of the Farmer Field School approach, was first introduced six years ago in Turkana, Kenya, and Karamoja in Uganda. It has since been expanded to Ethiopia, Somalia, Djibouti, South Sudan, and some countries in West Africa. APFS works with the communities towards reducing their vulnerability to disasters by strengthening their support structures for disaster risk management. Bonikara yunjira wani ninu to jola na gamdufte orinu rabaleste nama baleste mar la fabaleste orinu rabaleste mukha yu la fabaleste rakin handuri fali timben orina gamnu radwe hagam rakko khesat hagam ripu khesat akam tur APFS involves mixed groups in hands-on practical learning where members meet weekly over a period of time a trained local facilitator guides the practical learning sessions and group discussions, ensuring that all members participate actively. Group members decide what they feel needs to be addressed and set up simple experiments to try out solutions to the problems identified. Rakosas and Gibbs at the border more, Kalati Kamini more, Rakot and Ibsen and Jerry Ratimariata. Rakolit and Ergatimari at the border, Fala Kalati coming can nude and dinya, a coming can in a young can in a coming to Jenny Murakos and Kenina Kajus and Siri to Ratimarata. Experiences in the region have shown that APFS can effectively enhance community resilience and empowerment. Group members have applied lessons learned in the practical sessions in the care of their land, farms, animals, and in the community as a whole. Mankana jarra chunkiya, in faida kunun solong kana kaner. Ansila mankana um jarra dunin kabu, amo long kan kununse, in baron PFC kaner rarga de long kan kununse. Kar duri akasma gogoda na turi, laftan kesi garte akasma ti fula marijuru akasma gogoda na turi. Robi lafira dikate. Rakono la Gurdo, Laftan Cabate, Gizet or in Kurimbada, or in Longer and Kurimbada, Laftana Ubanu Medurami, Asana Mata, Saura Hane, a month and a den, Hora Leval in Tete, one the Babanga Jail to watch for Madubate, Mirguvisil, Argate, Namsi Dabs, Udabi Mate, one, or in Lojak about Hanaman, Irav Mawan Pedento, and then Kesa Yungam, once we come, Irav Naden to Alkete Mirgale. Because insecurity was one of their greatest hazards which affects them so much in the community, they said they would actually like, uh, they would go to the district offices to engage uh, in, in the community meetings between them and the Karamojong uh, to try and resolve the issues uh, that bring about insecurity. So, the people who are here are not here. They 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 are while there still remain a number of challenges to tackle in order to ensure a harmonized, institutionalized and quality APFS expansion, the APFS approach to learning shows promising evidence of men and women's enhanced ability to make informed decisions about their joint livelihood and become their own agents of change in a rapidly changing world.
Lieben. 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 Ja, 